GSP versus Oscar De La Hoya. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> you see, you see, Dana White <laughs> hates Oscar De La Hoya to to the core. Why? Why? It's a guy. He just doesn't like him. Oscar I think Coke Jones. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Why are you saying Jones? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, Oscar De La, Hoya, De La Hoya doesn't have the best relationship with Dana White. I think Dana White... With anybody. <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya. No, Canelo Oscar. Too. <laughs> uh, all these guys, bro, they, all hate, they all hate his guts. They hate him? They but hate they're still guts. fighting for his promotion, no? And not Canelo. He got a big lawsuit with him. Yeah, Remember? Canelo. I'm not talking about Canelo. I'm talking about like Ryan Garcia and other guys. Yeah. Anyways, so Dana White has never been the biggest fan of, of Oscar De La Hoya. Um, probably because of just the way that he does business or whenever they try to do business, they, they just slandered each other. I think back when uh, Conor was fighting Floyd, uh, Oscar came out and was like, oh, this is uh, this is not a real fight, all that kind of stuff. He was, he was like talking, talking, you know, shit. All that, all that shit the bus, right? And then Oscar comes around and he does like that Chuck Liddell fight against, uh, I think it was a Tito Ortiz on, on, on his promotion. I think it was something like that. Yeah, so anyway, so Oscar De La Hoya doesn't have the best track record with, with Dana White. Now, Oscar De La Hoya is uh, expecting uh, Dana White to release George St. Pierre from his contract. Because George St. Pierre, St. Pierre still has a UFC contract. He does? Yeah, because he, How many he fights still fights. I don't know. I don't know. Like two? <laughs> Maybe three? <laughs> hey, as long as it's one, he can't fight. Right? Because he's still legally under... Under UFC, regardless if he retires, he's or legally not. banned. So now Dana White, during the uh, post press conference, he talked about how the Triller CEO, or whatever, stop is, calling you know, me, stop texting me, stop calling me. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> You're ugly because he keeps because um, what we were seeing a trend of is a lot of these like spectacle fights uh, are trying to mimic what Connor and Mayweather did. Right. So what they're doing is they're trying to take these MMA guys that are already established and putting them into a boxing ring where they're uh, able to, to pull attention, sp- uh, able to pull pay-per-view buys, but at the same time still kind of conserve the um, uh, the star power of the boxer. Right. Because the boxer is, is automatically uh, the, the at advantage because it's his sport. Yeah. Right. So we're starting to see that more and more. And I think Dana White is like, listen, I did the Conor versus Floyd one. I'm done. Right? I'm not getting involved anymore. I'm not going to go and release George St. Pierre right? just so that you can make money and, and, and try to um, make this, this this huge spectacle or this, this huge circus. Which uh, it won't be anyways. Huh? Yeah, but like, like even if you have GSP versus Oscar De La Hoya, like it's not me. That's pretty big. Oscar De La Hoya. Do, do yeah, you I guess it's Oscar big, De La Hoya? but it's not that big as the like Conor Floyd. But <sighs> no, of course not. Conor Floyd is is the second most pay per view buy of, of of history. Who's first? Uh, Manny and and Floyd. Pac-Man. Right, but but um, it's not obviously it's not going to be be that much. But Dana White, I know. He, he even alluded to Chuck Liddell. He's like, ask Chuck Liddell if that was the biggest payday of his life. <laughs> so it seems like Chuck Liddell let Dana know, like, you know, this guy kind of screwed me out on a payday and he promised me this much and, and whatnot, whatnot. That's golden boy for you, bro. Number one weasel. You're a sick guy, though. 